celebrate her. So again, thank you. We're going to start off with a prayer. And the prayer will be done by none other than my mother, Miss Gwendolyn McCray. Come on, Mom. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Could you bow your head in humble prayer? Father God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, we're coming right now invoking your presence upon the service and in the hearts of each and every person that is sitting here, family and friend. We come thanking you, Father, that we can call upon you because our hearts are heavy. We won't pretend it's not. We're sad. But Father, we thank you that you can give us comfort and you can bring peace like no other can. We ask that your presence permeate this entire service as each and every person remembers whatever is going on with them, but what went on with them in Jasmine in her life. Lord, we thank you and we do truly praise your name for her life. Life is very precious. It's like a vapor. It comes and it's gone. And we thank you for the time that you allow her to spend here with us. We'll now figure out a way to just let her go and be at peace. We thank you and we do praise your darling son name in Jesus' name. We thank you. Amen. 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 Hey all, Amen. 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 And again, on behalf of the family, I will bring a scripture to you. If you have your Bibles, if you use your Bible on the app on your phone. Um, if you don't do either, you may just want to write the scripture down. You can read it um, at your leisure at another time as well. <clears throat> Ecclesiastics 3, 1 through 9. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up, which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stories together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath the worketh and then weareth and lair about? Thank you. Amen. Amen. At this time, I want to do some acknowledgments, um, as I said in the beginning, for those of you that came near and far, but for those that's not here, who wanted to be here, um, for those who sent their donations, who sent their love, their cards, their word of encouragement, um, who sent the text, who called, um, on behalf of the family, they thank you. Um, for Hilton Housekeeping, Able Service, Maintenance, um, were Rita Hamilton employment. They send their love. Um, they send their encouragement um, as well as donations on behalf of their employee, Ms. Rita Hamilton. The friends, family, and co-workers of Orville McCray and the friends and family of Jazzy in Decatur, in Indiana, and here in Chicago, Bloomington, Indiana, and here in Chicago. 
Um, those of you that's watching via Zoom, um, we send a thank you back to you for all of your well wishes and sympathies that you sent here to Jazzy and her family today. With that being said, um, we're going to have Spoken Word brought to you by international spoken word artist, Black Ice. I don't know what he's gonna bring you today, but whatever it is, I'm sure um, it will touch all of our spirits and our hearts. Um, Mr. Black Ice, if you can come up. First of all, let the church say amen. 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 Are we amen. here to celebrate life? Amen. amen. God is good. And he's good all the time. And all the time. God is good. Brothers and sisters, before I get into the poem, I just want to say to my brother and my sister, um, Tony and Renee, that we love you, we are here for you, and as I said before, God is still good. I always tell parents who have lost a child, I don't know how you feel, but I know how it feels to lose a child. I've been here, I've sat in that seat, and... People often ask me, um, how, how are you dealing with it? How, you know, um, the pain never goes away, but it becomes manageable, mm -hmm. if you can understand what I'm saying. One of the things that comforted me when I lost my son was knowing that there is a resurrection. And God promised us mm -hmm. a resurrection and a kingdom, a home that we would be in, but this is the process in which we all at some point must go through, but it's not about your birth date and it's not about your death date, it's about the dash. Somebody say the dash. The dash. The dash. What are you doing with your dash? What are you doing during the time between your birth date and your soon to be death date, whenever that may be? Let us all make a difference. Let us forgive. Let us not judge. Let us Try to walk in the word of God as much as we can. And in order to walk in God's way, we got to learn his word. Mm -hmm. And so just as sure as you have a Snapchat and a Facebook and a Twitter and an Instagram, you should have a Bible app on your phone as well. Mm -hmm. Spend as much time with that Bible app as you do your social media app. Mm -hmm. And learn to know and love God. Somebody say, what if? What if? What if? Everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor, close your eyes for one moment and think of this. What if today was your last day? What would you say and who would you call? Would you pull out that cell phone, look at all the contacts inside and call them all or would there just be a select few? Question is, what would you do? Who would be of importance to you this one day? And who would you want to remain by your side these last few hours that you're alive? And who haven't you spoken to for years? That maybe said something or did something hurtful to you that caused a lot of hurt, pain, and tears. Better yet, who would you forgive these last few hours? Could you survive and live with all the resentment bottled up inside of you? Maybe your mother abandoned you. Maybe your father was a deadbeat dad, but for this last day, could you call him up just to say that I love you? And would it matter to you whether or not your boo was faithful or true? And would the little petty things that you were going through in your relationship mean that much to you if today was your last day? And what about the fortune and fame? The bright lights, thousands screaming and chanting your name, the platinum and gold for what does it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his soul? Lose his soul? What if today was your last day? Would you pray and ask for forgiveness and try to right the wrongs of yesterday? See, the point I'm trying to make is while waiting till you're staring at the casket on the funeral procession, I'm asking all of you all today to count your blessings and clean the slate. Make that phone call today. Say your I love you's and find forgiveness in your heart because tomorrow might just be too late. 
Besides, how can you pray every day and ask for forgiveness when you can't even forgive your own brother? Your father, your sister, or even your own mother. Family, look, here's the truth. See, forgiveness ain't meant to benefit him, and forgiveness ain't meant to benefit them, but forgiveness is meant to benefit you. I don't think you get it. Mm -hmm. See, either we're going to practice what we preach, or we're going to be hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Bring me my flowers while I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Write me my poems. Do your tributes. Sing me my songs while I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Everyone, and I mean everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor, close your eyes for just one moment and think of this. What if today was your last day? That's that peace. What if? Amen. 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 What if? It's okay to clap me and say, for it's okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay, that's your, that's your, yeah. Absolutely. Good job. What if? Mm -hmm. um, as those words resonate and sizzle over your spirit, um, I'm going to go ahead at this time. And open it up for words of expression or reflections from the family and friends. If there is anyone who would like to say anything um, on behalf of Jazz and to the family, um, this is your time to do so now. And we encourage it. And it will be two minutes per person. So at this time, if there's anyone that would like to come up, to say any words of expression or reflections. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I knew Jasmine briefly. She married my brother, Terrell. I'm his youngest brother. And I knew her briefly because she was there with us years ago, you know, <laughs> and she I, actually was in North saying have fun, she was in North saying talk crazy, whatever, have fun and everything, but she was a cool person, though, I can't say that, because actually, I mean, she was coming all the time, like, oh, brother-in-law, I'm home, I said, y'all ain't married yet, <laughs> I'm like, I'm no brother-in-law, but like, it was cool, though, but, I'm like, I said, I mean, and I got kids myself, okay. so I'm letting you know, Jazz's mother and father, if, hey, my, my brother, Kids, they do have family. Right, so if y'all right, ever need right. us, That's we right. are here That's for y'all. You know, my brother couldn't make it today, I'm here on his behalf. That's right. Because I have kids. That's right. So like I said, I mean, I just want to keep in touch with my niece and my nephew. If that, that's all right, child. I give y'all my number, okay. change numbers. I'm going to keep in touch with like I say, to me, kids are important. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, I, I want to keep y'all too long, but I'm here for y'all. God bless y'all. God bless. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yes. Yes. Good job. And thank you so much for that. I, I'm speaking from experience. I was the auntie that always had all the kids over my house all the time. I would pick them up and take them back to my kids. My sisters and I were very close. I wanted our children to experience the same closeness that my sisters and I had. My sister left three children behind, including a nine-month-old baby. And I was the homebody, motherly type, and it was always falling on me. And I had to make some serious decisions about those children. I had to pray hard. They were six years old eight years old and nine months old. And I bowed to my sister because she made a remark to me before she passed. If anything ever happens to me, Gwen, promise me a few things about my kids. So I would assume she must have had some kind of premonition. And when time came, uh, to make the decision, what am I gonna do about her children? I prayed and I asked God, and he told me, find her husband, find their daddy. 
I hadn't had contact with him for many years, but I felt compelled <clears throat> that he had a right to have his children if he wanted them. It was very, very hard for me. And I followed what God told me. And we came over to my house after the funeral and I had a long talk with him. Because I didn't want him to think because they were separated, which happens a lot. That's nothing new in this day and age. Don't y'all look at me at that tone. Amen. Come on now, stop playing. I'll take my master's degree hat off and get ghetto with you. And I ask, I will. I like truth because that's what God loves is truth. Let's stop hiding behind these masks. And he said, yes, I want my children. That was one of the hardest things I had to do was turn those kids loose, but they were not mine. And I turned them over to the older two, to their father, and the youngest one to, their fa to his father. And I do thank God that I was obedient because he had a right to be in their lives as long as he wanted to do that or when he couldn't do it anymore or when he needed help. And when Toy said about the children, I just wanted to bring that part up because that was a fact that happened in my life. And they were allowed to come over my house because Toy and my children were very close to them and they played on weekends. And I'm just saying that, and I'm gonna be like Joyce Myers, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm just gonna put it out there because the Lord gave that to in my spirit to just say that. Let's keep mindful about the babies, about the children. I'm a public school teacher, college teacher, last 45 years. I can't tell you the stories of the children that I took and played mama too because they weren't there. I just want to put that out there and you can marinate on that, but let's remember the children. Amen. 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 Yes, thanks for that, Mom. Thank you for that. Mother McCray, as we so gently call her. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I can't change. Courage to change the things that I can. Grant me the serenity to know the difference. That's a very short prayer, but it's powerful. It don't take a whole lot of anything to remember that prayer. But the important thing is to learn how to practice that prayer uh, daily. If we could uh, really learn how to put principles in our life and practice them. We can become better people. And God is asking us to ask him to walk with us mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Daily. Daily. Mm -hmm. Times get hard and life cuts. Life really cuts. Tomorrow is not promised. Now is the acceptable time. Uh, her mother, my grandmother used to say, get your affairs in order. Hmm. People are leaping here, left and right, up and down, every which and kind of way. Because our world is out of order. We can't make sense of it. It don't seem like 
these people and those people are doing anything to help our systems. But at the end of the day, God has this all worked out, even when it don't seem like it. Mm -hmm. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. The word. If we could just simply slow down and give God his due justice. It is important to learn how to lean in on his everlasting love. We cannot make this and do this by ourselves. He didn't create this world for us to do it by itself. Amen. There are things that we're trying to figure out and we don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. However, there's a man named Jesus. Mm -hmm. Last name Christ. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if you confused, unconfuse yourself. Mm -hmm. Wake up, pull your life together, and ask God to help you out. I would like to read a scripture for your careful consideration. Brothers and sisters, we want you to be fully informed about those who have fallen asleep in death. Whew, that's tough. So that you will not be overwhelmed with grief like those who outside of the true hope. Here's what we believe. Since Jesus died and rose again in the same In the same way, God will bring with Jesus all who have died through him. For we can say all this to you confidently because it's the word of the Lord. We who are all alive and left here behind to this day with a command that, that thunders into the world with a voice to all of those who are still left here, anointed. Our liberating king will rise from the dead. Whew. So comfort one another with this and we'll encourage one another with these words. The scriptures tell us that for those who have, uh, pardon me y'all, for those who have died in Christ and we who are in Christ will be reunited again and that we should comfort one another with these words. So today I offer us five things to remember. Jasmine no longer must contend with the struggles of the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. But she has been freed and is now in perfect peace Amen. in the presence of the Lord. Amen. If you believe it or not. Jasmine will forever live in our hearts and in our minds. Yes. Do not take life for granted. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. That's right. That's right, bro. Make every day matter, folks. Mm -hmm. Right now is the acceptable day of the Lord. If you have not already, please make a consideration of faith until salvation to the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, I'll say, folks, this is not goodbye. 
but we are all simply saying farewell. 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 Jasmine. Until we see again, God bless us all. Amen. 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 Thank you for those words.